Now, you remember those stories about King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table? Well, the facts might be lost in the mists of time, but the castles remain. And when you see them up close, you kind of think those stories are real too. Yep, out here it's easy to be swept up by the stories, what with the mist and the castles and the centuries of history all around you. We're on Northumberland's coast in northeast England, about an hour's drive from Newcastle. They call this castle country because there's more castles around here than anywhere else in England, 29 in fact. And this is one of the best. It's called Banborough. Sir Lancelot was the most famous of the Knights of the Round Table. You remember him. He was the bloke that accidentally fell in love with King Arthur's missus, Queen Guinevere. And, if you believe the legend, this is his castle. So that's the legend, but these are the facts, and they're pretty amazing too. Bamber has been around for nearly 1,500 years. It's been a king's castle, a boarding school, even a hospital. And now it's privately owned by the Armstrong family. But you know what? I like the fairy tales better. Now, in the legend of King Arthur, there was a sword. The Excalibur. Well, they found a sword here. One that is one of a kind. This is it, and this represents probably less than a third of the actual length of the sword you can see. Chris is the manager here, and the lucky bloke gets to live in the castle too. Owning a sword like this in the 7th century, today the equivalent would have been, say, owning your own cruise missile. Wow. That it was, it was a sword of kings, it was unique. Your own one stealth of bomber. Yeah, very much so, yeah. yes. Across the water on Lindisfarne Island, you'll find another castle. Some castles are drawbridge to control who comes in and out, while around here, Mother Nature decides opening and closing times. Now, the tide passes through here twice a day. And when it comes in, it comes in pretty fast. Should you try and run the gauntlet when the tide's coming in, you can. Should you fail, you'll spend a couple of hours up in here. This is affectionately called the idiot box. Or you can sit in your car like this bloke and wait for the tide to slowly roll away. Only 160 people live here on Nindus Farm. The sense of serenity is quite immense, and here you can just come and relax. Gary's a local Northumbrian, and he's got the kilt to prove it. This is where I used to play as a wee boy and had great fun, yeah. you know, pretending you were a knight in armour or whatever. By British standards, Lindisfarne Castle's just a baby, only about 450 years old. What you've got here is a natural haven. In fact, Henry VIII's fleet itself did take shelter here, so the once upon a time there were 2,000 of his men parked just in this harbour that we see here now. Obviously, this is where the old gun battery was here, and the guns would be pointing out to sea. Lindisfarne is also called Holy Island because the Benedictine monks lived in this priory 1,000 years ago. What we've got here are the living quarters of the monks. So as you can see, we've got a, what was the kitchen area here. In fact, this tiny island is considered to be the birthplace of English Christianity. Now, if you want to make your own pilgrimage to Lindisfarne, British Airways will get you to England. Prices from the East Coast start from $2,405. But if you treat yourself to Club World, it's five star all the way. 
A good base for exploring Castle Country is Chatton Park B&B. Room starts from $96 per person per night. And if you're going to come all this way, there's one other place you've got to see. This is Adrian's Wall. It was built 2,000 years ago by the Romans to mark the northernmost boundary of the mighty Roman Empire. It was seven metres high and stretched for 117 kilometres east to west. 10,000 Roman soldiers manned these walls. It was sort of like a border line to keep those pesky Scots out. Along the way, the Romans built 25 forts. Today, this Fort Vindolander is one of the best. Underneath this street that we're standing on, mm. yeah, there are at least another eight buildings. All Roman buildings. So we're on a giant mound of humanity. That's where we're standing. OK, time to dig up my own Roman treasure. <laughs> hang on, hang on, I've got something here. It's different colour, it's not rock. Oh, it is, it is. What it's a, is it? It's a different coloured rock. Yeah. 